Alrighty, welcome back to Weenie Trades. So, it was a pretty good day today. Every single trade just worked out nice and perfectly. You know, everything just started to pop off and we traded a lot of mRNA, we traded Starbucks, we traded Google. So let's get right into the trading recap. Let's talk first about mRNA. Moderna. So mRNA, if we uh, take a look at the uh, higher time frame I've been talking about, watch for mRNA, new all-time highs. Look for this, uh, you know, to pop bullishly. And so that's why I'm having that back burner swing trade. But on the intraday time frame, we got a nice good flag uh, right over here. So do you see this? We moved up, sideways consolidation, boom, we start to pop. I go long over 241, 241 with a stop loss just underneath 239. So a nice small little stop loss, trail up my stop, trail up my stop, take some profits off up, up here. We start to move up, we start to pull back, take my last profit off at 248. Nice good trade to start off the day on mRNA and still swing trading, looking for a little bit higher prices. I don't think mRNA goes much higher than about 280 in the next coming weeks. So that's mRNA, let's talk about Google. Google, first trade of the day was actually a stop out. I tried to buy Google over this little breakout. Google is not really a breakout stock, so shame on me for doing that, but bought Google right there at 25.73, and then quickly stop loss hit with slippage right at the, the, the low down here. You know, typical Google, stop loss hitting with slippage. The slippage is, you know, half the, the loss on the stop loss. But we were able to catch a vertical spread that we're only spending $500 for. We spent $500, I'm buying the 2580 strike call, and then I'm selling the 2600 strike call. So what that does is, okay, if Google starts to push up and near towards that 2600 uh, call, this starts to really increase. And I was able to sell it for 8.7 right at when Google's at 2585, which is about the high of the day. So really nice, good move, $500 into 870. Just all it took was about 15 to 20 minutes. Nice, good trade there on Google. Uh, what else did we trade? We traded a Piton short this morning. Piton. Piton short. Shorted in the morning, placed my stop above 117. Shorted again, but then I gave up on the trade as we started to wick up. So small little revenue trade on Piton. Look at that little uh, V bounce double top at the high of the day. Really interesting stuff. Um, we talked about uh, Upwork over here. Upwork was really nice because we nailed the high of the day and avoided quite a bit of uh, selling pressure. So right here, we got the dip and rip. We dip and we rip. So once we start to form this engulfing green candle, I buy Upwork just at about 61.50. Once we break 62, I buy and I raise my stop loss because I'm adding risk. And then we get one more little flag break. I buy again. And then I take some profits off at 63, and then I leave a trailer on, and the trailer take took out. Nice good move there on Upwork. Really interesting day today. And then the QQQ, we just did some in-out vertical call spreads, and that was able to uh, capitalize a bit. And then lastly, let's talk about AMC. AMC is actually probably the best execution of the day. I actually made money going long on AMC today. And the reason was I was going long was, hey, I have this level right here at 36. I said AMC is headed to 36 once it broke down from 62 on the daily chart. So on the daily chart, you know, pre pretty, um, pretty um, um, a very key support level that if you see a break, you've got to cut, cut your losses on your longs. You got to cut your longs um, or a, if you're a trader uh, or, you, or you can decide to go short. Some weenie members went short. Some weenie members cut their longs. Um, so, some are doing the, the diamond hands um, for Ape Nation, and that's fine. They can do whatever they want. I respect any decision that you make in the market. Uh, AMC stocks more than just a stock. It's a movement. So AMC flushing. But what I did is I took the dip trade right here at about 36. We start to bounce. We do a little bull flag. I add again, take some profits off right at this supply zone at 37.50. And then what I do is I put my stop loss at break even, and I give AMC the chance to make, uh, to make a higher high and run, AMC decided to, you know, just sell off and hit my break even. That's fine. Making, um, making money on long on AMC while it's um, down 11%. So um, next supports for AMC, probably that 3340. I do think it would be worth the swing trade on AMC if we started to come into the gap, maybe down here at about 3320, 3320, 3220. So really nice move there on AMC. Can't wait to buy the dip on this one now that we're starting to unwind some diamond hands. So that concludes today's trading recap. Nice, good green day. Unexpected green day as yesterday was kind of a little bit of a lull. Parker's nice and asleep right over here. And uh, thanks for tuning in, you guys. See you.